In this crazy lineup, you'll get to meet some of the most obnoxious Karens and Kevins who face nasty consequences for their entitled behavior. Karen has a meltdown after her ex-husband takes her car after the divorce. Let me uh, flip the camera so you can see what an told Josh is. Josh is trying to take my car right now that he never paid for. My car in the name of my dealership. And he thinks he's going to take it. Say hi, Josh. You're on Facebook. You're not taking my car. Josh points squaw, the douchebag, f***ing idiot jack that he is, thinks that he's going to take my car that I paid for. The dealer plate is in riding pride. This is my car. This is my dealership car. Get out of my car before I have you arrested. Get him out. Get him out. This is my Off of this car. Josh thinks he's going to take this car for me when that sorry piece of never paid one penny for it. Because you know what Josh is? He's a user. He's a user, he's a loser, and he's dumb as a sack of bricks. And I hope that he and Calista don't procreate because I don't want a grandson dumb as you. This is my you piece of get out! And I'm going to have Josh arrested. I'm not getting off of this car. I'm going to have Josh arrested for doing this to me. This is my car. Get that man out of my car. Josh is about to go to jail because he's so stupid that he thinks that he's ruler of the goddamn universe just like Chris. Just like Calista. He thinks he's going to take my car that I paid for with my inheritance money through my dealership when there is a dealer plate on the back of the car. But that's Josh for you. Why the f did Calista choose the- This delivery dude ate half the customer's pizza and then tried to deny I it. I you, but I didn't you. I didn't you, okay? And who knows? Maybe you know what? Let me tell you one thing. Let me tell you one thing. Maybe when I give you pizza, you open the pizza and put the pizza in your stomach, like look at this, your big stomach. How big it is? How big it is? It is pizza there, right there, okay? You think I'm gonna f eat the pizza and then come have? This? Yes, yes, I know you. I know. Look at your teeth, bro. Pizza still falling out. You know, all the cheese falling from face, from your mouth, and it's going in the in the stomach. Domino f me, you f me, DoorDash f me. I'm gonna sue every buddy. F them, sue them, f them. Don't fuck with me, okay? Bye. -bye. I'm going now. I'm going up. Don't call me back again, okay? Eat what all you have. Bye-bye. This flustered Karen was mad because the employee said that her stuff was too damaged to be returned to the store. Yes. Tell me your name. Denim. Denim. Okay. So, your name is? Denim. Denim. And you are not taking these back because? Some of these are Show damaged. me that. Show Some me that. Some of these are damaged. Show me that. What is that damage for you? This is damage, right? No, ma'am. This is damaged. No, ma'am. So which is one is damaged? This, these are damaged. This is damaged. Yes, and look at okay. the first one. This is this damaged. Is damaged. This is uh, real. Yeah, I did that. Yes, I did that. Let me talk to your manager. Okay. Right on, on she, Monday. She's not here. She'll be here she's Monday. She's going to be Monday. I'll be here on Monday. Okay. You little Okay. You are being now whatever. Kevin likes to steal other people's cars, but doesn't like it when his own stuff goes missing. Shaved Acura key, dude. You can't. So we have you on video, bro. Well, the car was stolen. The car was stolen. You were caught in it. Your name's Caleb, right? Right. Your name's Caleb Lundquist, and that's Whitney Smith. We know. I do have your card, though, if you'd like your card back. I'd like all my stuff back. Bro. Well, we would have liked the we would have liked the card not to get stolen too, but you didn't give a. I don't steal cars. So, I have a car. Then how the were you in that car, bro? Because I you didn't buy it. I have you on camera getting in it. Do you, you see all these you cameras? You do, huh? Yeah, I sure in the do. We got a camera right there. We got one on the side right here. Fuck You're ballsy, you dude. You got my face on that camera? You're ballsy. You got my face on the camera? On all these cameras. We sure. How the do you think they found you, dude? That's they had your name. They knew that you were a known meth addict. This killer? This is 
kill him. He wants his out of What? That's all gone. That's all gone. Why? Because the cops took everything, dude. Why don't you ask the cops where your is? All that was evidence. No, like the You're known. Yeah, it's all stolen. Gone! Oh. It was all stolen sh**! No, it's not! That's well, then ask said. the f***ing cops! The You're f***ing- Whose stolen car is this, dude? It's my f***ing car! Then why weren't you driving? Why would you steal someone's car and then oh. think you had the f***ing right to come back? Steal a car. Who'd you buy it from? Who'd you buy it from? They look just like you because no, yeah, these cameras right. look just like you. No, I bought it from somebody who says they were What's him. What's his name? What's his name? Him who? Him who? Who's that? Cause we'd like his f***ing ID back. We'd like his ID back, and we'd like his cards back. I don't have them. Oh, and we don't have your. Have a good day. You're f***ing ballsy, dude. Do you really think I'd come back? Yes, I do. Every dude, do you know how many? Do you know how many people know you? Everyone, dude, everyone around here said, "Hey, Caleb Lundquist." They told us who the f you were. How is that? We don't know anyone like that because we don't run in that f***ing game. But they know you. So you guys don't have my then. We have none of your shit. We have our sh** that you f***ing took. That's what we have. I didn't take nothing. Okay. okay. Well, you had it, so, I mean. well, you were just released from jail, so. Right. I didn't take nothing. Have a good day, man. I'm going to file a police report. <laughs> Please do. You're f***ing wild. Kevin is confronted after he cuts in line at Walmart. Looking for a light? Yeah. Why are you recording me? I'm finna steal. I'm finna steal me something. Sight like getting stole. Still in the day. Out of Walmart. Show them the register. Show them why. Show them why. <laughs> I hope this go viral because I'm stealing that y'all shit. Show them the registers. Ain't none of them open. That one open? Cause she walking up there. Right? She's still in two. What's she doing? She's still in two. Oh, all y'all doing it together? They need to. They were smart. Look, she walked around three times. She ain't doing. <laughs> they pay these motherfuckers just, just to walk around. But they don't work. They don't work. Go get me some over there still. What? 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 You ain't right here, yeah. stupid son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. I spit on you. What? Wrong with you? I'll beat your in the stove. How what? you calling the police? Talk. Don't talk. Don't yeah, don't talk. I'm gonna show you. Don't you better shut the up, show him. boy. You ain't right here. Shut the up. Stupid. Stupid. You tricking out, boy. Shut up. I right, hit you with this car, boy. Do it, do it. No, boy. Do it. I'm gonna you up. I ain't got. I ain't finna go to jail. Cause you gonna call the police. Cracker. That's all you gonna do. Do it. Fuck you. 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 Go stand right here. Yeah, All right. Come on, go to eight. Just go to eight. Go to eight. Okay, let him know. Okay, just let him. Slap the out your Okay. Okay, so let him know. Okay, okay. Let him know. Okay, okay. Let him know. Your face is breaking out. What do you think it is? How you feel about this, though? How you feel about this though? They sweet too. I already got me some for free. Well, Karen loves to air out her relationship problems on the road. And couples start arguing.
This dude caught two Karens screaming their heads off at each other. I'm just trying to go home. Kevin in the black shirt was called out after he tried to push another person away from the equipment at the gym. So so much. Much. Yeah, so much. Much. Have respect for her. Should, I, 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 huh? too. Too. No, no, you have respect for her. She she too. She out too. Okay. She's my friend. I'm not going to let this shit happen. Nothing going to happen. Okay, I'm not going to let this shit happen. I'm telling you. You told me. Yeah, she's not going to let this shit happen. Okay, I'm telling you. You talk with her, you talk with me. I'll talk with you. Okay? We talk again, we go outside. You chose me? We go outside and talk to I'm not gonna talk you. You talk to me and you see what happens. Nothing but a piece of shit. Let me know if he talk to you. Let me know if he talk to you. Talk to me. You gotta talk to me. Don't come near me. I'm gonna be here now. I'm gonna work out here. I'm gonna use it. I'm gonna work out here. No, I don't wanna use it. No, you're not gonna use it. Why not? Because I wanna work out here. Can you say so? Because I said something. Who are you? Don't worry about her. Oh, you think that you're better than me? I'm telling you. Oh, you think I'm better than me now? I'm gonna work out with you. Are you bigger than me? I'm gonna work out with you. You're not gonna be the best. You think you're bigger than me? Don't tell me, my friend. Don't tell me. You're gonna go off. It's all white. I'm gonna think I'm worried about it. He's taking advantage on her. Nobody took your mother. Nobody took your mother. You were yelling at me. I told you don't yell at me. And then you're talking to me. He's taking advantage of me. I understand. No, I'm watching you. I'm watching you too. I'm watching you. I'm watching you too. Not because you're bigger than me. I'm not bigger. Trust me. I don't care what you say, my friend. I don't care what you say, my friend. I don't care what you're going to do. If he talk to you, I'm going to be here. And it's going to happen. I will show you what's going to happen. Who might call me now? Take an advantage of a female, man. Take an advantage of a female. Nobody take your money, man. Nobody say no to her. I'm watching everything. That's why there's a camera. There's a camera everywhere. There's a camera. Yeah. Escalating things. Escalating. I don't want to be scared of you. You got to stop the people. This customer was mad after the employee added sugar to a drink, which was already loaded with sugary syrups. I'm not out of my mind because I just watched him make all five of them. I just tasted it. It's sweet. I did not push Well, I'm telling you, it's That's sweet. That's how it tastes. Then call somebody. I don't know what you want to do. I'm not paying for the start of the show. Okay, well then you can go and get coffee somewhere else. I would. Okay, have fun. This Karen tries to throw her daughter out of her house. You're not coming in here. Don't tell me what I can You're not in. coming in here. Get out of my way. No. Get out of my no. way. No. Get out of my no. way. No. Go to record me. I don't give a f Oh, you're not getting my you're stuff. You're not getting mine. This is my stuff. No, it's not. No. Well, move. I'm taking my no. baby house. No. Move. No. Move. No. Move. No. 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 Good, because I hate you too. I hate you. Good. Karen tries to appear all threatening at Walmart, but too bad no one takes her seriously. Listen, I'm not even gonna get you. You're in a car, Kayla. Don't worry about her. Come on. I ain't worried about you either. Take the bus over there. Okay, you ain't gotta. I got all fun away. I'll call my sister. Call her. Want me to call my sister? Because she's a bitch of a. Come on now. Come on, stop. Why y'all causing a scene? Come on, so we can go. She's a little girl. You like that? Don't call her no bitch. <laughs> girl, nobody ain't. Girl, calm down. No, you ain't gonna call me no bitch. Okay, okay, I'm not gonna operate. Okay. What are you talking about? You don't have to call the scene. You are not. Yes, you are not. 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 Okay, You are not. What are you talking about? You ain't gonna call me no bitch. I ain't never gonna.
Karen loses her chill after she realizes she isn't going to get any refunds. What you're gonna get, because this is the supervisor, the manager, the team lead right here. What's her name? Maria. Maria just told me that corporate decided that they cannot give you anything else. So you might want to get out of line and go home. Maybe you might want to get a customer service number because they are not going to give you anything than what you have right now. Despite you sweating five nights every single night that you've been doing this. This is Okay, so... Well, this Kevin neighbor looks like a fun grandpa to be around. <laughs> Can I'm you sorry. please mind your own business? Yeah. Why do you have to come over? Oh, you cannot mind your own business. You have to come over and tell Shut somebody... Up, Shut up, Like me. Shut up, Shut you up, have up and You have to walk over. You, you can't mind your own business. She lives in... Uh, Where do you live now? You don't even live You cannot here. mind your own business. You are the Karen of the neighborhood. Uh, I, uh, you have nothing better to do. I'm and you the have to Karen. Get to I'm the Karen. And tell the movers that uh, I'm a horrible person. You know what? you in the heart this care manager doesn't like it when customers bring complaints to her. Mess up my order you mess up my order and then i come and i complain and you just get ignorant and start clapping your hands i was waiting here 20 minutes and you should have came out here and said something when i was here 20 minutes ago waiting for my order all right this going right on facebook on chipotle now he's running into people this crazy. This is crazy because my order was supposed to be ready at 11:40, and I'm just picking it up right now. And yeah, keep going, keep going. I'm gonna sit there and eat my food and let you fuss and cuss. This going right on Facebook. Is she the manager? Is she the manager, bro, bro? Is she the manager? Is she the manager? Now I'm calling the police. That's exactly who the f I'm calling now. Now I'm calling the police. Thank you. Thank you. Call them. Call them. Right now. No, I got you. I got you. 
we're going to wait for the police to get here. She just assaulted me. I didn't say you did. I didn't say you did. She assaulted me, and y'all saw it. I, no, 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 bro, you did by accident. It wasn't on you, all right? You professional. You being professional. But she's out of order. Thanks. So we're going to go get the police, and they're going to watch this video, and she's going to get her ass locked up. Karen doesn't seem to like it when people do good things for her. About her daddy. But I told him I needed some money for some groceries. And he decided to deliver the stuff, have, pick what he want to pick, and have it delivered himself. Come here. Come back here. You come back here. Leave him alone. Come back here. He, instead of sending me the money, he then had the groceries delivered. You don't know what my kids want. You don't know what my kids like you, you, that, that's just me. You, you buying stuff off of what you like. And I, and, and, cause I told him, you know, I needed tissue and I was out and I needed some groceries. And he then went shopping online and had some groceries delivered. That ain't what I wanted. I wanted you to, to send me the money so I could shop my own stuff. So, uh, me and my kids could eat what we want to eat. Not what you want, the stuff you like. This was not it. I'm not happy about this. This care manager doesn't want to pay for her employee, even though she put in her two-week notice. Oh, Oxford? No, I'm not with Oxford, no. What agency are you with? Um, I'm with the feds. I'm a with federal feds? officer. Mm -hmm. What does that mean? Like you're an FBI agent? No, I work for the federal government. Oh, okay. I mean, it's not necessary. I don't have a problem getting her her paycheck. Did you sign saying that you're going to be my mother? And I'm not signing that. Why? I'm not signing the piece of this. Oh, so you want to go run your mouth about the stores? That's what I said. Okay. Well, regular scheduled payday is Friday, so you can come back on Friday and get your check if you don't want to sign that. Okay. Okay. All right. Perfect. Thanks. So we'll come back Friday? Yep. Okay. Oh, and then your payoff date is Saturday the 5th, so you have to come back Saturday and give your check. So why were you going to give me my check now? Because they're both in here. But you don't want to sign a cease and desist because that tells me that you want to go around and talk crap about the store. Had you let me speak when I turned my two weeks in, I would have told you I'm not going to talk about the store and I'm not going to deter anybody from shopping at your store. I didn't have a problem with you speaking. You didn't say anything. All you said to me was, you don't have to work out of two weeks. Do you have your keys? That's it. I mean, but I didn't, what did I do to you that was so bad? You took me off the schedule, and then when I asked you why you took me off the schedule... What did I say? No. You, when did you ask me? I screenshotted where I was supposed to work the 25th. Okay. And put, or I sent it in the group chat. Here's the thing. If you would have just come to me and said, Hey, I'm just curious, why am I off the schedule? Can we talk about this? But no, you jumped straight to putting your notice in. Haley, I was very good to you when you were here. You were on my time clock. Painting signs. You got to put them throughout my store with no booth rent, no commission. I gave you 100% of everything you made here. No, I paid commission. Really? 10%. Where? It came out of my check every time I looked in my portal. Hmm. Well, let me just pull that up for you. And I also said that I was fine paying booth rent, so you did that. I, you did that. Out of what? The goodness of my heart. Because I thought you wanted to make some extra money. I was trying to be nice to you. So who is it that owns Urban West Eight? Her husband. What's your husband's name? Jonathan Vanover. He works for the federal government too. And he's he's the one that owns it? Owns, he's the one that owns this place? We both do. Okay, so I have a question like, regular payout is Friday, but you're holding her check because she's refusing to sign a cease and desist letter? Because if she didn't have anything that she wanted to trash my store about, she wouldn't have a problem signing it. I don't have any. So to wait a minute. Her. Wait a minute. So praise the Lord, we don't work there anymore. Wait a minute. Really? We don't. I mean, if I quit my job and said I don't want to work there, that's fine. 
How was I so bad to you? I bought you meals. I bought and I offered to pay you back every single time. I don't recall that. You never paid any commission, honey. I gave you 100% of everything you made. 100%. Well, when I look it up on the vendor portal, it says that commission came out. Well, that's different. That is the actual payout. Okay. Vendor total thirty three twenty seven. For what? That's ten percent. That's taxes, honey. I don't have any control over that. Talk to the government. That's what was taken out for taxes. I mean, we have to pay sales tax. We don't have a choice. But I think I was very good to you. I didn't do anything to you. All you had to do was come to me like an adult yeah, and say, you, when? I sent it in the group chat. I asked you why you took me into the schedule. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. I said I thought I was supposed to work tomorrow. That's not why did you take me off the schedule. So See? why did you take me off the schedule? Okay, let me explain that to you now that you want to know. She got a different job. So she is working during the week and only available on weekends. Betty's moving back to Colorado. Savannah's school schedule took her where she couldn't be here Tuesday, Wednesday, or Thursday, starting, I think, next month. I had two new people. So with you only working one day a week, her being gone, Savannah being gone, and Betty being gone, that left me here alone. I cannot run this store seven days a week by myself. So, I hired two new people, and because of the time with her leaving, I had to get them trained last week when I had help that could train them. That doesn't mean that that Sunday you weren't going to be on the schedule. It was just for those few days to let me get the training in, but you didn't ask me that. No, because you, you came in here with your notice and said, I'm, I'm quitting. You didn't let me explain. You didn't even ask me. You sent me a text and said, if I'd known I was off the schedule, I could have done something else. I could have. I had prior obligations, but I didn't because I was on scheduled work. Right, and I only changed it for those few days so I could train somebody where I wasn't gonna be here by myself when everybody else went on with their other schedules. This Karen seems to enjoy picking fights for no reason. Well, I picked up cans because I'm gonna protect myself. Don't touch me. 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 Touch me again. Gay. Everything game of course. Touch her again. Touch her again. How your fing polo look? Like Lolo. Like Lolo. You see that? You see that? He got it all recorded. And this whole store about to get shut down. Nah, nah, nah he doing it, the right it, thing. This whole store about to get shut down because your cabbage patch. Come on, y'all. You a cabbage patch. Get out of here. Come on, Shana. It's all acting like they don't believe in these things. Come on, Shana. Shana already like, and don't touch me. Come on. Shana already said she'll f you up. I get Shana to f you up. Kevin goes to Japan just to pick fights with Starbucks employees. Yes. Just leave. Please just go. This is this is really unacceptable. This is unacceptable. Bro, get the out of my face. You're just you're bothering everyone. Do you want my headphones? I'll give you my headphones. Do you want my headphones? What? No one's doing anything to you, man. No, you recording me. Because you are you are really bothering all these people. Okay, and you're. Or you don't like my music, there's music nope. playing. That's what the f***ing goddamn speakers is for. So you don't hear music playing, mother I Alright, then shut the f*** up. No one did anything to you. I ain't do nothing to you, f You're playing music and you're yeah, bothering people. Playing, you're making right. threatening there's, gestures. There's music playing. It's unacceptable, yeah, man. Threatening gestures. You pulling that goddamn camera out as a threatening gesture. I, I took the I camera out. out too, I took the happy. camera out because of your happy. unacceptable behavior, okay? I don't give a about how you feel about my behavior. You mad about that music? Yes, that's what you're doing. Do what you're gonna do, girl. Yeah, do what you're gonna do, girl. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna see about all that. No problem. Yeah, we're gonna see about all of it. Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't give a about them. They know what's up. What's happening? Sure. Yeah. They'll take care of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm pretty sure they is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm pretty sure they is. Okay. I'm gonna take care of everything.
was popping. Hey, I was seeing and they'll be right yeah. here. Not sure if hitting a car with a bicycle is a good idea. <laughs> Karen snaps at the employees because she doesn't want to pay for extra sauce. It's sauce, you got all this food. Thirty dollars worth of food, you gotta pay for extra sauce. Give my mother money back. Sick of this. Shit. I want my money back if I gotta pay for extra sauce and I spend thirty dollars up in here. It's the only mother that make you pay for extra sauce. All this food and all you get is full of sauces. Nobody wants this shit. Go some motherfucker else. It ain't about the money, it's the point and the principle. tries to pick a fight with this woman while the dog attacks her from behind. I tried. No, you didn't. You never. You never, mother go back to me. King, come on. Karen thinks that she can casually walk out of the store after shoplifting the stuff. Throws it at me. Give a receipt for all that stuff. That's what I thought. This drunk Karen was escorted out of the bar by security. <laughs> Karen walks up to the McDonald's drive thru to yell at the employees. You can't even hear me. Can I get my bro? The y'all rude as y'all up from the dining at Metropolitan. Mad y'all cleaning up this. I don't work at McDonald's, ho. Don't be mad at me. You don't make no good money. Managers don't even make more than 16 50 Plan. I make twenty five dollars an hour. Taught me. I make twenty five dollars an hour. Taught me. Never worked at McDonald's since I was seventeen. You a grown. Don't come outside though. You talking? You want come outside though? Y'all pick it up. She got a lot of mouth for a. Don't want to come outside. Oh. 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 Your brain's dry. What you look like? What you look like? You look like my twin. We look like sisters. What are you talking about? Ugly. If I'm ugly, you ugly. Look head ass, pea head, peanut head, busted baked bean head. <laughs> Karen tries to open the locked door and causes a major security breach. Mommy, you can't open that door. Huh? You can't open that door. Okay. You can't open that door. Stop it. No, you oh. can do that. Oh, okay. Can okay. you stand over there, please? Go, go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. I was well, the glass didn't break, but Karen's hand might have had some serious damage. This Karen is the last person that should be in customer service. Is that what you're saying? It was abandoned. So hold on, hold on. How can this so scooter have been abandoned when I called you guys mm -hmm. and notified you, used the word abandoned, as if I just abandoned it. I called you guys and notified you guys of the situation so you was fully aware of what was going on. So how can I have abandoned it according to the terminology you just used? I didn't abandon it. I notified you of what happened. The key was lost. I'm asking personnel to come and assist me. So how did I abandon it? Please explain that to me because you used so you used those terminologies. My team member did come to Twisted, Twisted Colossus. Right. And what, from what so at what point did I abandon it is when, after I notified you? I'm trying to understand how did I abandon it after I notified you of where the scooter was at? How did I, how did I abandon it? The scooter was left with no one else there at Twisted Colossus. No one else there? 
What do you mean no one else did? It was left at the handicap rail. Yeah. Where you supposed to park it at? So how did I? Again, I'm asking you, how did I abandon? I followed the rules. I put the scooter where it was supposed to be at. Right? The key was lost. I contacted you guys. I asked you guys about well, how can you assist me. You said you'll be up there with another key to assist me, right? You guys didn't come up there in the timely manner that you said you would. You took longer than that. I got frustrated and left. How did I abandon the scooter, ma'am? I'm asking. Please, I, I, I want to know how did I abandon it. I cannot confirm the time zone. No, 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 ma'am, ma'am, ma'am. Ma I'm asking you. You just stated that I abandoned the scooter. Yes. The scooter how did that happen? The scooter was left at Twisted World, at Twisted Colossus. So, so, so. So, 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 so let me ask you a question. So what you're telling me is, if your staff took five hours, hypothetically, let's just, let's just say this, hypothetically they took five hours to come up there and get the scooter. What you're saying is, I would have to sit there and wait five hours, you guys' negligence, not mine. This is what you have staff for. You guys' negligence, five hours for me to, to sit there and wait and, and, and miss my time and the money I spent enjoying the park? Is what you're saying? I can't confirm that that's not the situation. You're, that's exactly what happened. But Are you, you just recording, sir? Excuse, excuse me. It, it, Are you recording? Listen, sir? listen, listen, listen. Right now, you just you just made a claim against me. You just stated something against me, and for my own protection. You understand what I'm saying? Which I have the right. But I have the right to also not allow you to record. You, you what you mean? You, you, you guys are telling me you. I, I feel like I'm being deaf right now. You stole money from me. You told me I abandoned what you lied and say I abandoned, which is that's a lie. Then you just now you now you're stating otherwise. So you basically say, I'm not going to get the school to normally get my money back. I won't be able to give you the money back because from the moment... Ma'am, you just stated, and I have it, you just stated I would not get my scooter nor my money back. I said I would have to check to see if you would get your scooter. I didn't say that you would get it back. You just sat here and said that. I'm telling you... I I'm, I'm telling you. I wouldn't be able to give you the refund. I said that I would You have said to you would neither get your scooter nor the, the thing. That, and that's the reason why we reacted the way we did when you stated that, ma'am. I'm yeah. Trust me, this is what I'm saying. You might not remember to say that. But I'm letting you know that I listen very well, very well. And when I'm telling you right now, it is this is a complete, this is this is completely out of line that you guys wouldn't see the situation that happened and say, you know what? Let me assist you, sir, because I'm a customer. But because you guys are being nasty, and it wasn't even my fault, it was you guys' negligence as to why you didn't even come up there and get the school in a timely manner. But now I'm being penalized because of the fact that I didn't, I, I don't want to sit there and wait for you guys to get get around to it. I'm here to enjoy myself just like everybody else. So why do I have to sit there and wait for your, your staff to get there and assist me with something? It would have been a lawsuit had I stopped breathing when I was telling you guys. And, then, and, and no, 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 don't worry about I that. Watch breathe. this. In the process of us waiting for your staff after they told us to wait there, she was stung by bees. Negligence on you guys' behalf. Because of the fact that we was told to wait there and bees things happen, that was on your time. And I actually you do realize that, right? And all I'm asking right now is to settle this by giving me a refund because I'm not using a scooter. But you don't want to do that, which is fine. That's all cool, which is nasty though. So you guys are still going to be at this point where you won't give me, I don't have no scooter. You're still saying you're not going to give me no refund, right? I won't be able to give you a refund, but I have to check to see about Why you can't give me a refund? Please state that. The scooter was abandoned. It was abandoned. How? The scooter was Hold on, hold on, hold on for a second. Hold on, hold on for a second. Right right Listen, wait, 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 wait. The scooter was abandoned, right? How do you abandon the scooter? Please tell me. Give me one more please, please give me the terminology of how you abandon the scooter. That's on your property. I, I want to know how the hell I abandoned the scooter at a ride that was parked at the handicapped destination. How the hell did I abandon the scooter? I parked there to get on the ride. The key was lost. I can't go nowhere without the coup, without the key. So how did I abandon it? Because that's what you're basically saying right now is your means for saying that you're not getting my, my, my refund. That I called for AMR and you guys still... You even, you even stated right here, you even quoted and stated that you, you knew about the situation. You sent your staff down there to assist. So how did I, how did I abandon? If you sent your staff down there to assist, how was that abandoned when you know about the situation? You know completely about what's going on. How was that abandoned? You, you sit your staff down to assist me. How am I abandoned, ma'am? Please, tell me. I'm waiting for my supervisor. Okay, let's take Um, sir, can you explain to me the situation? Okay, the situation is like this. Basically, I rent the scooter. We get the Twisted Colossal. The little lanyard thing they give us, I had it on my neck, okay. right? When I got on the ride, it came off. Okay. They, 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 they was able to retrieve the key, whatever case it be, 
Um, well, no, no, they, they didn't retrieve it at that time. We called up here at the desk for them to come up there to bring a key to come, you know, I guess to get them so we can move it. Okay. They kept taking all day, all day, all day, all day, all day. We waiting. She got stung by bees because we were sitting there waiting on the rail, waiting for them to come. Stung by bees in that process. So we left from there to go to first aid to get her some assistance. Okay. We get the first aid to get a little, little wipe or whatever things they gave her to wipe on her arm, right? After that, we leave from there. We lay like, what's going on? We like, well, with the scooter, we can't get the scooters over. Let's try to call. They call and they telling them the same thing they told us on the phone. Yeah. Oh, 10, 20 minutes. It's been 30 minutes already been waiting. We're here to enjoy ourselves just like anybody else in this park, right? I believe I have that right just like everybody else. It basically because of the negligence of the staff here taking their time after giving me an estimate ETA, 10 minutes. Looks like the bus driver decided to abandon the bus. Wait for the next one, I quit. I just left. There's no bus driver. Hold on. Yo. Left the keys and everything in there. He said, Wow, now nah, he didn't do y'all like that. He just left y'all on the bus? Nah, this New York is crazy. He just, yo, there's mad people on this bus right now. Yo, dude. Yo, he said, F this shit. What he say to y'all? Nothing? He going to the. <laughs> Nah, yeah, nah. Listen, are you 10 minutes ahead of schedule? No, you gotta be home. He's bugging. <laughs> Yo, bro. Yo, son. Nah, son just. This racist Karen was put in her place by the dude behind the camera. So say hello. This guy's being a rude jerk and he shouldn't be allowed in here anymore. Bye, Karen. Yeah. It's your man looking at us all somewhere. You look real professional. I know. Yeah. You look real great. You look beautiful. You look just like your dog. <laughs> You're an immature, unprofessional jerk. And you're a Karen. No, I live here. Okay. And when you're in here... I don't have to tell you why I'm here, lady. Because I live here. Hey, lady, go on on about your business, man. Because I live here and you don't. You and your twins, go on on about your business. Oh. You know what? We're sorry. Karen, do what you got to do. Bye. I'm going to... You stay right Bye. All right, bye. Stupid ass. And you know what? Look up at the camera and Bye Karen. Bye Karen. Get your racist ass on somewhere. I don't have Karen causes a scene at the restaurant and is told to leave. Don't you touch me! 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 You stay away from me! You attack me! Don't you touch me! Don't you touch me! You stay away from me! You attack me! Don't you put your head in at me! Shut your mouth! He went to grab me!
Oh, is that? Oh, she's right here. Oh, 